And we're going to start right here because I have browning in this pan a chicken, a three pound chicken that I've cut up. And what I did was I simply took the chicken pieces and I'll show this to you with the wings that I'm not cooking today. You simply take the chicken pieces and put them in a plastic bag. This way you can get rid of the bag when you're done instead of having to do this on a plate. And then we added some flour, some salt, and a little bit of pepper. You close up the bag, shaking the chicken pieces. This is called dredging. And then when you want to fry, you take them out, shaking off the excess, and you put them in a little bit of olive oil. So that's what we've got going on here. Now this dish is called chicken marengo. And I'm sure you've heard about chicken marengo because marengo is a town that's south of Turin in the region. So I'm gonna take the brown chicken pieces out now onto a plate because in this same pan, we need to add some onion and some garlic. So you wanna cook that right in the same drippings that you cook the chicken in. So take the chicken pieces out and just set them aside. And if your pan seems a little dry, you wanna add a little bit of olive oil to that. And also use a large enough pan to really brown those pieces. If you crowd the chicken in your pan, well then the pieces are going to steam instead of brown. So you gotta allow a lot of room. And with this, we're going to have some garlic. I have to show you my new nifty garlic trick. No more mincing garlic with a knife. No more peeling garlic. Get yourself one of these. And all I do is use the paper and all to grate the garlic right over the microplane, which leaves the paper behind and puts the garlic where you want it. So we want minced garlic in with the onion. So one small onion, one clove of garlic, minced up. We want to get that soft. So now we're going to put in the tomatoes. The onions are soft. And we're going to take those chicken pieces and put them right back in the pan. They're nice and browned now. And this is only going to take, oh, about 30 or 35 minutes to cook. So spread them out evenly in the pan. And with this, we want to have just a little white wine. That's going to make a nice sauce. So white wine goes in. You can add about a half a cup of white wine. That's about a half a cup. And now, give it a little bit of pepper and a little bit more salt. Doesn't that look good? Very simple. You cover the pan and you allow this to cook on medium heat, just until that chicken is fork tender. So now, let me tell you what happens here. Get the right burner going. Napoleon, of course, as I said, loved this dish. And when Dumond was cooking it, he decided that he had to put the fried egg on, of course, as a garnish. So you want to put a little olive oil in a non-stick pan. Get it going. Coat the bottom of the pan. And then we have a couple eggs. You want to crack those eggs, and I'm sure that they were fresh when Dumont did this, right from the chicken coop. Put your two eggs in there. And you want to fry those. You don't want to touch them until the edges start to turn a little, start to solidify. So you want to leave the eggs there. And then we're going to give that a little bit of salt and pepper. When that's ready, this becomes the garnish for our chicken marengo. I think the chicken is ready. So I'm going to turn this off. And now we can serve you. So. Here's how an individual serving goes. Boy, I can smell this. This is beautiful. So how about a nice chicken breast for you? You want to take some of that sauce, the wine and the tomatoes, put it right over the top. 
just like that. Beautiful. Mm. And then, of course, we did the eggs to honor Napoleon, of course. So here I have two fried eggs. And you know what? I'm taking them both out and putting them right there. Now we want to give that just a little bit of pepper. Yes, here we go. Right over the eggs. Mm. A nice hunk of bread and dinner is served.